Well okay, guys, so we are going to continue with the third video for the carboxylic acid and derivative where we are going to continue with properties of methanoic acid. So methanoic acid is the first member of the carboxylic acid homologous series. Now not only that it shows similar properties for carboxylic acid, it also possesses other special properties. So this special property is due to having two functioning groups at the same molecule where if you look from this angle, so from the blue angle here, it will form, you can see it as an aldehyde. And from the red angles in here, you can see it as a carboxylic acid. So methanoic acid is a well-known strong reducing agent unlike other carboxylic acid. It is easily oxidized to form carbon dioxide and uh, carbon dioxide as shown in the following reaction and can also uh, the same way it reacts as in the salt. So these are a few examples of the reactions uh, uh, with this uh, methanoic acid. So due to the presence of the aldehyde as functioning group, it gives a positive test to toland reagent where a silver mirror is observed according to the equation. So H uh, methanoic acid reacts with silver complex to form silver carbon dioxide and ammonium ion. And then uh, methanoic acid can also undergo dehydration when you use concentrated sulfuric acid. So it will dehydrate to become uh, carbon monoxide plus water. Okay. And then, uh, and finally, as discussed earlier, just now we say is that um, methanoic acid is a strong reducing agent, so it can oxidize by using a hot concentrated acidified potassium manganate, so you form um, carbon dioxide and water. Another chemical properties that we're going to have a look is the ethane dioic acid. So the structure of the ethane dioic acid is shown in the diagram below. So uh, it dissolves in alcohol and water, but not other organic solvents such as propanol or ether. It can be prepared by the following methods where you can heat by uh, where you can first heat with a sodium methanoid and then you add it with sulfuric acid to form uh, oxalic acid. So this is the structure of the ethane dioic acid as shown to you in the diagram here. So uh, similar to the methanoic acid, uh, ethane dioic acid can also react with acidified potassium manganate. So the blue color will decolorize to form a pink yellowish color according to the uh, equations. This is the ionic equation for the reactions. And uh, similar to methanoid just now, dehydration can also take place for ethane dioic acid where you when react with concentrated sulfuric acid you form carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and also water. And finally, it can react with calcium chloride to form a calcium ethanoid, uh, ethane dioic ion. So these are the two special uh, carboxylic acids that you all must know. So I've already explained details, hopefully you'll be able to understand it. So here are a few uh, industrial applications of carboxylic acid. So methanoic acid, ethanoic acid is used in rubber to coagulate the text. So ethanoic acid is also used as preservative and additive in the food industry. So ethanoic acid is used to manufacture ethanoic anhydride, which is then used to synthesize aspirin. So this is the reaction for the equation that is going on in here. And then uh, benzoic acid is often used as a preservative. It is also used as an antibacterial and antifungal agents. Calcium propanoid is used as a preservative in bread to prevent growth of mold. Now, dicarboxylic acid is used to manufacture synthetic polymer such as nylon and also terylene. So, if you use a nylon, you have to use a hexane dioic acid, and you use a terylene, you use a benzene one four dioic acid. So, these are a few examples of applications for carboxylic acid. So, with this, we finish about the carboxylic acid. Straight away, we go to the carboxylic acid derivative. Carboxylic acid derivatives are compound derived from carboxylic acid where the OH in the COOH is replaced by other heteroatom such as chlorine, another OR and NH2 and therefore become three other functioning groups namely acid chloride, ester and amide respectively. The physical properties of these carboxylic acid derivatives are different for each case. So and we are, and from here you can see from the tables in here, there are various kind of the comparisons in terms of the boiling point melting point. Uh, so note that ester and acyl chloride has a boiling point near to those of unbranched alkane uh, because all of them uh, are considerable as a non-polar molecule. However, uh, CO is slightly more polar, okay, making a group have a small effect on the boiling point. Uh, carboxylic acid are held strongly by hydrogen bond in liquid phase resulting in levitating of a boiling point and a stable hydrogen bond in dimer has high effective molecular wave and boils at a higher temperature. Amide has surprisingly high boiling points and melting point compared with other compounds with similar molecular wave. So this is due to positively charged nitrogen polarized the NH bond making the hydrogen bond strongly electrophilic. 
So negative charge of the oxygen lone pair are particularly effective in forming hydrogen bond to polarize this NH hydrogen. So you can see how the hydrogen bonds are effect are especially effect uh, effective uh, when it is bonded to a more polarized nitrogen and also oxygen respectively. So dicarboxylic acid and this derivative are soluble in common organic solvents such as alcohol, ether, chlorinated alkane, and aromatic hydrocarbon. So acid chloride cannot be used in nucleophilic solvents such as water and alcohol. However, they can be added with these solvents. Many of these small ester, amide, and nitrile are relatively soluble in water because of their high polarity and their ability to form hydrogen bond with water. So we're going to continue next in our video showing all the chemical properties of carboxylic acid derivative. With then, I finish my third video. Thank you.